missile in Iraq. We still have to support the training of an Sir, Iraqi isn't it military. true that any other world leader would have taken out ISIS in about a day or a week if they really wanted to take them out, sir? In Afghanistan. Sir, isn't so, it true, as Michael uh, Savage says in Government Zero, that you have decimated the military so badly that they can't even fight a war against ISIS? Would you care to comment on that, sir? Sought out a wide range of opinions about steps that we can take potentially uh, to move Syria in a better direction. Sir, is it true that you want to offer ISIS jobs training programs here in America so they put down their guns and pick up a burger flipping tool like a gridle iron? And the refugees that uh, are traveling. Uh, in very so is it true that your policies caused the refugee crisis in Syria as a result of the Arab Spring that you so roundly embraced after Hillary Clinton created it? Children drowned uh, trying to escape war. Sir, is it true that you came out of the meeting with Putin and you were so terrified that you looked like a scared rabbit, as some are saying? But what we have Sir, why do you have such a hatred for Vladimir Putin, who used to be our ally? What is it about him that you hate so much? Is it that he's a Christian, that he's a martial artist, that he's strong? What is it that you hate about him? That he's bald? What is it that you don't like about Putin? That he speaks Russian or what? What is it? Engagement will solve the problem. And we will find ourselves either doing just a little bit and not making a difference. And well, that's what you've done with ISIS. You've done just a little bit and made no difference because you're not really pursuing the war. They're your factotum army against Assad, some would say. We can't, uh, we can't sustain. Uh, Sir, is it so, true that there are Wiccans in the White House and, now, which explains your behavior? People uh, offering up half-baked ideas. As if well, you have fully baked ideas, and that's why I brought up the oatmeal cookie question. Because you're very good at baking lies. The challenges involved. You bake in the them situation. like oatmeal cookies. Um, oh, don't give me any half baked ideas on how to well, defeat I, ISIS, like use the Air Force properly. That's absurd. Because bombs kill. What exactly would you do? And well, you don't want to use bombs you, because we're we're peaceful think? people. And we want to convince ISIS to put down their weapons and pick up griddle lions and uh, sell uh, burgers throughout Syria. A bunch of mumbo jumbo. So, these See, are the challenges. longer he goes on, the less you know he uh, says. You can, all right, turn him down for one minute. Anyone listening to this, did you hear him say anything definitive about anything? No, which is why I mocked him. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O-I-N. Communistic. Or a plot by me to, you know, take over. <laughs> and stay in power for... Ever or something. Oh, I mean, he's showing psychosis now. It's like Nixon. Conspiracy theories that float this guy's like a Nixon now. Now it's like a pity job. Ratified, We're listening in on a psychotic right in front of our eyes now. He's doing a Nixon. On occasion. Am I the first one to uh, notice this? So. He's pulling we, a Nixon. We've got, we got to change the politics of this. And, and that requires people to feel, not just feel. Sir, here's a question from Radio Land out there, from Michael Savage. Can you tell us why you haven't mentioned the hero, Chris Mintz, well, okay, here's what we, here's who was what shot we numerous mean, times trying to protect to others from the killer? Sure that it, that Sir, you're not answering us. Can you say something about the fact that he picked on Christians, the shooter, and he's a mixed-race, teetotaling Nazi? Great on other stuff. For a couple of election cycles, you've got to vote against him. And let him know precisely why you're oh, Here he goes. From the president, all of a sudden he devolves into the community organizer. And, and you just have to, for a while, be a single-issue voter, because that's what it is happening on the other oh, side. Now it's a single-issue voter. Here we go. Selling, selling gun control. I mean, okay. The NRA has, has had a, a, a good start. You know what I think yeah. I'm going to do tomorrow? Go out and buy a gun. Uh, yeah, I, have a, I have a whole case, a safe. I'm going to buy another one now. And ammo. You got to give him credit. Just to spite this liar. I'm going to buy a new gun tomorrow. I'm rushing over to my no, my gun store. But they know how to stir up fear. If you they hate Obama, you should buy a gun. They know how to raise money. They know how to scare. They know how to raise money. That's all you do they for a living. The last time you were president was when you ran for office and pretended to be president. And uh, again, again, here goes a Nixon job, a meltdown. Uh, them in their sense of urgency. If we're actually going to stop this, which isn't to say stop. Why don't you talk violence. about? Antipsychotic drugs. Why don't you talk about the fact that this animal was a Wiccan who shot Christians? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Part of original sin. But 
Sir, is it not true that you were raised as a Christian? ...are just a lot higher than other places that, by the way, have the same levels of violence. It's just they, you can't kill as many people when you don't have... Sir, why don't you direct the world to the heroes GoFundMe page? Instead of lying about guns in the, in the Second Amendment. Saddened about what happened yesterday, but Arnie's going back to Chicago. Oh, now it's Arnie now. Let's not forget, this is happening every single day. And Arnie's going back to Chicago. I country. think there's a song in that. I, I do write songs day. as a hobby. I can write Arnie's going back to Chicago. Are I can set it to a Dixieland jazz band. Arnie's going back to Chicago. We get Fats Domino to play trying it. Trying to get to school. No one knows who Arnie is. Broderick, we were down in New Orleans, sitting down with a group of Here we of young go again. Men. A personal story now. Uh, I'm gonna, the minute they go to a we personal story, Arnie told me I'm going to turn it off. Both Sir, is it true, as Michael Savage says in Government Zero, that you've created zero education in America through Common Core, and so, that's why Arnie is really resigning, sir? Um, we got to make a decision. It, sir, it, isn't it, it true that you hate normal. charter schools because they're not yeah, controlled yeah, by the we, government? I don't think it's normal. I think it's abnormal. Normal? Wait, did he just say that? Did he say, I don't think it's but normal? I can't do it by myself. He is cracking up. So, main thing I'm going to so do he's thinking is about what normal is. No, no, this is the sign of psychosis here. I hope that over time... We're I'm seeing, it's like Humpty Dumpty. Changing enough. This is a Humpty Dumpty, you know, he had a great fall. Putin knocked him off the wall. We start and the egg cracked. I don't think he's, he's freaking out over that. that. If he starts taking Russian lessons, in addition to Arabic, I'm giving, I'm leaving the country. Where is he? Did he stop, or is he just hearing he my won't music? He sign another short-term CR. Um, but as you know, yesterday Secretary Liu announced. All right, that we had enough already. Now it's gonna, now it's gonna be about oatmeal cookies now and the dog boat. You got the Stooges now. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Just now, able to dig themselves out of a massive recession. Uh, put them in harm's way. Wrong thing to do. President Zero is speaking now before a uh, group of his Vestia reporters. Thank you, and Mr. while President, he's rambling on with his double talk and lies and breaking down into a Nixon moment, did you hear the Nixon moment in the last segment? I heard it first. People will pick up on it now. You'll read about it probably tomorrow. He just had his first overt Nixon moment in public. He said, people say I want to stay in power like a communist, and I, I want to take total control, and I'm not leaving after this. Well, that's crazy, he said. Nixon moment. Next, you're going to see the two fingers up at the victory signs on the helicopter. Oregon shooter Chris Harper Mercer was born British and supported the IRA. This just came out. British born. Support for the IRA, the terrorist movement that attacked British PM Thatcher. He was associated with the online username Iron Cross 45, which the Express claims is a possible reference to the Iron Cross, a German military symbol reintroduced by the Nazis. That's clearly what it is. It adds, a user with the same name spent almost 100 pounds on a Nazi SS officer's cap on a different website more than two years ago. Okay, so there it is. A nut, in plain English. Why analyze it too carefully? A nut, a loser nut, sex-starved, on drugs, period. While left-leaning U.S. outlets have seized on Harper Mercer describing himself as a conservative Republican, on his dating profile online, it has not yet been ascertained whether this was a reference to his Irish Republican views, which he shared with state senator and Democrat bigwig Ted Kennedy, oh, and the scarcely conservative Republican representative Peter King. He wanted everybody to be happy, said his stepsister. Well, I guess he was sending them to heaven to make them happy. Unfortunately, if he had guts, he should have stayed in the military and sent the, the mullahs onto, uh, onto uh, heaven, where they get the 72 virgins. They would have been very happy over there. There's nothing more that you can make of this. Just nothing more you can make of this. Nothing. You know, a rabbi once said to me, no matter which, when you try to pick up crap with a stick, no matter which way you turn it, it's still going to be crap. And that's what this, this piece of you-know-what is. Whatever you touch is going to see the same garbage. Is he still speaking, the president? I don't want to confuse people. I don't want them to think I'm insulting the president like that. Okay, let's go back for a minute, see if I can take it. Is, let's see what he's up to. Uh, that when they act out, when they are disturbed, when that particular individual has a problem, that they can't easily access weapons that can perpetrate mass violence on a lot of people. All right. 
Very because good. We all agree on that. I, again, I want, Can I want you to explain emphasize. why you are not attacking there, no, the, the overuse of prescription drugs? We are inherently more violent than any other advanced nation. Or that young men are inherently more violent in our nation than they are in other nations. I will well, say I young think men you should subject all young men to testosterone reduction therapy. Uh, and I think that would be a, a valid part no of your new Obamacare, that all young men over the age of 13 after puberty have to have their testes altered so that they're more uh, acceptable to the feminist, uh, the feminist movement. The United States and other advanced countries. What is different is homicide rates. And gun well, you egged rates. on the homicide rates in, in Ferguson and with your loose tongue. Us. You egged on the burning of so Baltimore, you and Eric Holder. Why don't you take some responsibility for it, or, Mr. Or, or, Obama? Uh, the impulses are necessary. Mr. Obama, is it true that you take no responsibility for anything that you do? To more powerful weapons. Mr. Obama, is it true you don't recognize that there is a consequence for loose lips, uh, sink ships? Julie Edwards. Mr. President, you just said that you reject President Putin's approach to Syria and his attacks on moderate opposition forces. You said it was a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. But what are you willing to do to stop President Putin and protect moderate opposition fighters? Would you consider imposing sanctions against Russia? Would you go so far as to equip moderate rebels with anti-aircraft weapons to protect them from Russian air attacks? And how do you respond to critics Julie, who say Putin is can you tell us if there are any moderate rebels, Julie? How do you know there are moderate rebels? It's not a fiction of the CIA, Julie. I've heard it all. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. The radio audience wants to know, can you actually tell us for sure that there are moderate rebels in Syria, that they're not a fiction of your administration? Not just critics, but I think people buy this narrative. Let's think about this. So okay, okay, let's, office, okay, let's think about it. Ding dong school. America had precipitated the worst financial crisis in history, dragged the entire world into a I can't. I don't know if I can listen to it much recession. longer. It's kind of fun. We were involved in two wars. Sir, how come you haven't mentioned the Army vet no coalition support. who US brought down the shooter in Oregon with his bare hands before he was shot by brave police with guns? Sir, how come you haven't had the Army veteran hero brought before America? Why didn't you go to the hospital to visit him, Mr. Obama? Instead of sulking in the White House, eating oatmeal we cookies. 800,000 jobs a month, and so on and so forth. Here we go. He saved America now from the crisis he created. And today, the whole administration, the, the, the they, they create a crisis. Bush did, by the way. Don't think I'm just hammering him. Will you shut him off for a minute? This is my show, not his. Six months before Bush left office, I said to you that Bush's spending is so reckless that I'm declaring Bush to be a fiscal socialist. Raise your hand if you remember that. You do remember that. I also said to you in August of that year before Bush left that you ain't seen nothing yet. He's about to do something that you could never imagine. I said that about Bush, didn't I? So I, I really distrust the entire establishment. I'm an outsider. I see it for what it is. They're manipulating us. They're playing with us. They created us a, 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 a climate that would permit us to elect this doofus for the president. So now what is Obama trying to do before he leaves office a year from now? God only knows what's left. I mean, check off the list. Guns, let's see what else. Global warming, check off the list. Maybe he could put the sun out before he leaves. Maybe he can send the mission to the sun with uh, the actor in it, with the Mars actor. Now he lands on Mars, that actor? I'm not going to go see him on Mars. How can you sustain a plot with a man on Mars for the whole show? At least with the movie where the FedEx plane crashed, he was on an island, you can relate to that. You can imagine yourself eating a coconut and catching a fish. Who wants to be trapped on Mars marching around with a suit on? I don't know what people go to. Who can tell? They go sit like idiots, eat popcorn. Sitting like idiots, and put their hand in the popcorn. What a country. You can sit and watch the idiot. Okay, what? turn it back on. Not, no, no, but I, I, think the, it's, I think it's, it's what's really What's the fun friggin' the laughter now? To understand. No, I'm sorry, he's going Nixon. Russia's not stronger as a consequence of what they've been doing. Oh, no, they're weaker. They get attention. Yes, it's a, it's a sign of weakness. Defending your national interest is a sign of weakness. Just to ask me. are still in place. Well, the reason I'm concerned about Syria's sovereignty and not my own and is because I don't want America to have any sovereignty. Can't you see that by now? Are you that foolish? Of strength because the United States is not subject to sanctions. 
And we're not contracting 4% uh, Excuse me, Mr. Obama, are you recognizing the fact that the EU itself has said that the sanctions 